So um, it's easy to see that if um, n observations of random sample from a normal distribution with mean mu and sigma square, then the sample mean will follow a normal distribution also because it's drawn from normal with mean mu uh, and variance being sigma square over n, or the normalized one will be standard normal. And this is also true uh, by central linear theorem when sample size is large, and even if not from normal, this is also true, okay? Uh, but we just keep on this for uh, the, this video. Um, the question is, okay, this is fine, but the problem is usually sigma is not known, okay? We do not know the population variance. We may know some kind of mu, but uh, so this sigma is not easy to estimate. And in the real world or in application, usually you use the sample uh, a variance, right? S square, right? Samples, remember the sample variance is m over, uh, over m minus 1. So here actually we explain why m minus 1. And we want to know the distribution of this guy, okay? This is something we want to know. Replace sigma by S, okay? And this problem has been solved by a statistician under plain name student, that's why the student T. Um, with this, we'll follow the T distribution with the group N minus one. So that's why we learned uh, student T distribution uh, in the last uh, chapter. And that's the example. Suppose a population with mean mu five for a sample of size 100, what's probability that the sample mean is no more than 4.5? Um, and the different the sample variance A. So sample means less than 4.5 is 4.5, not 4. So 4.5 over 5, okay, and divided by 8, which, which is sample variance over 100. And then just it's T99 because T distribution with M minus 1. So it's uh, negative 1.765. And this T99, uh, if you look at the table, uh, actually, when you be more than 50 or 60, then T and Z, it is very similar. So basically, when you Z, will be 0.04, uh, okay? It's very small probability, okay? So uh, let's try to prove um, why that quantity is a T uh, distribution. So we will try to prove this particular statement, okay? And this is rather complicated. We will try to uh, uh, do stay two property without proof okay first is uh, consider random sample from uh, normal distribution right as we said before so this sample mean this is a, a sample uh, variance okay and this can be shown okay we don't do it here uh, but the uh, sum of squares okay difference from the mean over the population uh, standard D population variance is chi square of degree m, mi m minus one. Okay, so this is something we don't prove. And x bar and s square. Okay, the sample variance is indeed independent. Okay, they are independent. Okay, so that's two uh, thing we don't prove. Okay, now using this first property. Okay, uh, we have s over square is equal to actually you can rewrite it right as is uh, this right over n square right this is sigma right this is s right this is sigma square and this guy right use the first property set this is sigma square uh, n minus 1 over n right so s square over sigma square is actually a chi square over n minus 1 and the second property say they're independent right so that means that if you write this, right, and you can write in this way, right, this, uh, you can eliminate it, right, because this is actually x bar minus mu over s over root n, right, because this is cancel out, right, but this guy, right, is exactly the chi square n minus 1 over n, right, this is z, right, because this is standard normal, right? So that's why this is a uh, uh, key with the rhythm M minus one. Okay, thank you.